Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you what client sub accounts are in Go High Level and how you can create a sub account for your clients and also how you can use them. Obviously, if you want more tutorials like this, definitely subscribe down below and let's get started with this tutorial. So first of all, as you can see, we are on our Go High Level uh, dashboard right here. Now on the right side, we can see add sub account and on the left side, we can see sub accounts right here. Now here, as you can see, we can always switch uh, between sub accounts if we have already sub accounts that we are using. Uh, currently, we're not using any sub accounts, so we can actually go and we cannot do that just as of yet. So as you can see right here, we can click add sub account. So I will lead you through the whole process of creating a sub account. I will also tell you what sub accounts are being used for. Uh, and as you can see right here, we can see we have a couple of a uh, snapshot templates. Now we have uh, ver ver vertical snapshots, we have own snapshots, imported snapshots. Now what we're going to focus on is vertical snapshots right here. Now here, as you can see, you have blank snapshot. This is if you have a client that is not on this list. So for example, if you have a dentist, you will use this template. If you have an auto dealer snapshot, you will use this uh, template or a client, auto dealer client. Then if you have a day spa uh, client, you can use this spot. Um, but if you if your client is not on this list, then you will need to go and you will need to go with a blank snapshot. So all a sub account is, is basically a place where you will manage your clients. And again, you know, go high level made it really easy for us because it gave us templates for this particular client. So, okay, let's say, uh, you know, my client is a, um, you know, a client that is a personal trainer, maybe he is working in a gym, maybe my client is a gym, uh, I can go here and I can select continue, I can also click know more, if I want to know more about this, how you can set it up, you also have tutorials, uh, where you can go and you can set it up, which is extremely great, if you want to go and if you want to learn more about what snapshots are, how to use them, you can go here as well, you also have example of a fa Facebook ad for your client, which is great, let's say you're running ads, you can see uh, example Facebook ads right here. Another great feature in Go High Level. And then you have a setup guide right here uh, so that you don't get lost. As you can see, here is the entire guide right here. And this is fresh guide from this year. As you can see, you can create account, configure general settings tab, set up Twilio phone number, and all the good stuff right here. Now, okay, once we have that, we can go back here and we can go select and continue on a snapshot. Now, as you can see, once we have a snapshot basically here, what we can do is we can find our client on the map. Now, let's say we have our client on the map here. We can go into New York, for example, and we can find a gym that we're looking for. So for example, um, what I know best here is maybe we can go here and we can go here and just say Gold's Gym. And then as you can see, you have a lot of different gold gyms. So we can just hit this one here for the sake of this tutorial. And as you can see, this is the gym. So we can go here and we can click on the gym right here. And this will bring us to our account right here where we can go and where we can add our account information. Now, as you can see, uh, our account information is basically first name, last name, email address. Uh, you need a general info. So this is great if you're onboarding clients, um, you know, if you're onboarding them through your system on go high level. Again, you have business name, street address, city, country, state, pro, uh, province, region, and you have all the different things. So if you already have a client on the map, you can do it this way, but you can also do it manually. So let's go back a little bit and let me show you again. If I go to add a sub account, I can go here again. And then as you can see here, I can add account manually. So if I go to add account manually, I can go here and I can add all my information manually. I can add, you know, general information, uh, time zone. This is if your uh, client is not on the map, maybe they don't have a business, maybe they have an online business that is remote, then you can go and you can put the information right here. But let's go back here and let's just add our client right here. So let's just go with the gym, just one gym here. We can go gym sports bar and we can just click on this so we can go here. First name, we can, we can say John Smith for this sake of this tutorial. And then email address johnsmith at gmail.com. And that, that's it. 
that's basically how you can go and now you can save this so once you hit save as you can see you will be brought to uh, a gym sports bar which is basically kind of like a back-end dashboard where you can go and you can basically as you can see you need to connect stripe if you want to resell wordpress you can also resell yext as well uh current limit you can see everything behind in the back end of your onboarding you also have general information right here um, you can change this whenever you want and then all you can do is go here and you can delete pause sub account if maybe your client is you know pausing if it's not with you anymore then you can do that as well you can also delete um, a sub account whenever you want uh, which is great and then once you're done with this with social profiles as well uh, with adding new service you can add a new service here uh, for example if we click on that we can go to the marketplace and as you can see, we can add a service. For example, white label Zap, white label mobile, um, basic account setup. This is if you want, you can do that for $300. And uh, you can also join, as you can see here, a kickoff call, which is great. So, uh, okay, let's go, let's go back to our sub accounts right here. And let's go to our sub account. So here, when you go to sub accounts, you can just go here and you can basically go and click on switch to sub account or manage client client manage client will lead you back to the tab that we just been on as you can see right here you can go to the activity tasks and all that good stuff but let's go and switch to sub account right here and uh, as you can see right here this is right here where it switched for you so basically if you go here i can switch to my agency view this is my view and if i want i can go here and i can switch to a sub account right now we are on the sub account and here, as you can see, this is the dashboard that your client will see. You can see how many opportunities the client has, closed, open, lost. You have pipeline value, conversion rate right here as well. Um, you have funnel, your promotion pipeline, uh, stages distribution, your promotion pipeline as well. You have then here, you can select campaign, workflow, all. You have a lot of different things that you can do. But there is one thing that your client is still not seeing and that is this right here so you need to actually add a client to this right here so how can you actually do that so first of all you need to go back to your agency view and from your agency view as you can see right here uh, you can manage the client obviously um, and you can also go here and you can go to the settings so let's go to the settings right here and here as you can see we have a team so if you go to team we can actually add a client as a team member also obviously you can change your personal data right here personal logo if you want so make sure to change that if you want but basically what we can do is go to the team and uh, as you can see right here we can add an employee now we can add an employee we can add uh, our team member we can add a user so particularly if you want to add someone that is your client then what I would recommend I would recommend adding a user so go to add employee right here and here as you can see you can uh, add a personal logo if you have a logo from their business first name last name so let's say it's John Smith add an email right here obviously um, then you have user permissions this is important very important so this is if you want your client so what you want your client to see basically so if your client um you know is able to see appointments then leave that turned on but if your clients um uh, you know if you don't want your clients to go and see funnels then turn that off so basically here you can turn that off kind of like in a discord server if you ever used it you can go and turn off uh part of your uh you know viewing so what your client can view basically then you can go here to user roles and this is very important if you want or not if you want but you need to do this if you want uh, your client to see only this right here go to the account and then make sure this is a user and then as you can see you can add a uh, sub account which is gym sports bar here basically you're saying that your client is john smith uh, with this logo and that your client John can only see this right here that is blue and then your client John is has a user type account and user role user and is added to a sub account gym sports bar then all you, can, all you need to do is just hit save and that's pretty much it now once you hit save you can go back right here and you can go switch to the gym sports bar here and here as you can see 
uh, you can obviously go and, uh, you know, this is the launch pad. This is kind of like a dashboard where you can go and connect more different stuff. You can connect Google Business, Google My Business. You can download our app and engage with your leads. Uh, you can connect your Stripe account and stuff like that. And on the left side, you have a lot of different things that you can incorporate, such as dashboard, uh, conversations, uh, calendars, contacts. Uh, you have opportunities as well. So Go High Level really gives you a all-in-one marketing platform and all-in-one a CRM basically an onboarding system uh, that you can use for your clients. So this is just one simple tutorial on how to create a client sub account and how to use it and how to add users to your client sub account in Go High Level. If you want more tutorials on Go High Level, definitely comment down below and go and join Go High Level down below in the first link in the description. You can actually get a discount and a, a free trial uh, for absolutely free with our link down below. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.